This is a massage building. Uh, it's been as a massage building for not quite 20 years, one month short of 20 years. As you can see, it has a ramp coming up to it um, for handicapped. It also has four regular parking spaces and one handicapped parking space. Off to the right of it is a garage. That's a car and a half garage. I'm going to walk around back. You can see the handicapped entrance. Mm -hmm. And then you can also see the steps going up to the door to get, head in. There was a front door that we came into that also had uh, goes into the reception area. This is a patio area on the back. And then eight parking spaces in the back area. Um, everything has new roofs. We just put a roof on this year or at the end of 2017. And this is the back end of a, the couple's massage room, which you'll see from the inside. And then this takes us back out to the front. None of the windows open. The windows are closed for security reasons. There's no entrance into the building through the windows. It has a whole house alarm system that's monitored any time that it is set. As we go into the front door area, again there is a ramp here for handicapped and you'll see as we walk in the reception area and reception desk and then a waiting area and over in this area, this is where the front door came in. You can also see the security system. And this room measures 21.6 by 13.4 feet. Then the first massage room off of here is measuring 12.2 by 9.5 feet. And has two windows and a massage bed. Then back out into the reception waiting area. Off of it is a hallway and to the left of the hallway, here's the hallway, to the left is what we call a conference room, also known as a break room. And uh, it has all our electronic equipment, our Wi-Fi service uh, printer, things like that. Also has a closet, storage closet off of it. And its measurement is 13.3 by 11.4 feet. Then back down the hallway is the upstairs restroom. And it has a window as well as a handicapped sink and storage area. These measurements are 9.4 by 4.8 feet. Then off of it is a whirlpool tub room that's complete with shower and whirlpool tub. This is a changing area and you can see the whirlpool tub and if I go up you can see the shower and then we have a dressing area complete with mirror and vanity and its measurement is 9.4 by 5.1 feet then at the end of the hallway is a couple's massage room that uh, we perform a lot of uh, all our couples massage in here we also have done training in this room uh, training for infant massage, uh, Bellinina massage, and CPR. And its measurement is 
13.2 by 11.7 feet. Uh, there is a hydraulic table. This table right here is the hydraulic table in this room. This table is a lightweight portable table. Then off of that hallway is another massage room. It also has a hydraulic table in it and uh, what we call a towel cabbie so that if you do Bellinina massages or would like to have hot towels, you can get a hot towel out of the hot towel cabbie. And its measurement is? 14.3 by 10.6 feet. And so if we come back out of that room, here's the door going out to the patio. And then directly across from that is the steps going downstairs to where we have five other rooms. And I'll continue another video with those rooms. All right, this is video number two of the back area of the massage clinic. You can see half of the back parking lot, which has four spots, actually five spots, and then three spots to the other side, and this is the garage. So we're gonna go into the patio. And as you can see, it is a bricked in area, partially bricked in. And then it has um, aluminum windows and siding. There's another entrance on the diagonal. And we go all the way around to the patio. Now the patio measures 17 by 14 by 9 inches. And we use the patio for uh, chair massages and when we have open houses we use this as a outdoor gathering area. Now there is an entrance into the back of the massage clinic and as we go into the door to my left you can see the hydraulic table room that we saw in the video one. Immediately in front of me are the stairs going down to the waiting area of downstairs. To the right is the Whirlpool tub room and then also the door is the couple's massage room. There's a massage going on at this time. So we're going to proceed on down the steps into the waiting area and this would be our waiting room number two. That it does have a couch and chair area. There's one massage room off to the left of it. These are the steps going back up to the patio. And this waiting room area's measurements are? 12 feet 11 inches by 9 feet 10 inches. The massage room number four um, is measures 12 feet 10 inches by 8 feet 10 inches and we usually use this room for hot stone massage that we set it up over on this area here and um, then we can do a hot stone massage we walk back out into the waiting room you can see that the closet door door here goes into the utility room. In the utility room we have a utility sink, a washer, and two dryers, all kinds of storage area, and at the very end we have a refrigerator. The furnace is off to the right and you can see the hot water heater and this measures 25 feet 9 inches by 8 feet. Then if we go back to the waiting area and we go through the French doors 
we go into a little area that has a restroom and then a whirlpool tub. The closet right in front of me is where our sump pump is and then we have some storage there. Here's a whirlpool tub room, uh, also complete with a shower. And its measurements are five foot nine by five foot. And we have a little dressing area uh, with the hangers to put the robe on. Then out of the whirlpool tub area, we go into the second restroom and it has a vanity and mirror and come up. And its measurements are five feet by four feet, five inches. Five feet by four feet, five inches. We go back into this waiting area and down a hallway. And when we get to the end of the hallway, there are two rooms off to my left. The first room we use as a reflexology room. So it is set up as such. We also have used it as a massage room when we had um, too many therapists. So we used it as a massage room and it's equipped with a clothing area and hooks to be able to hang your clothes on if you do use it as a massage area. Um, but at, currently we use it as a reflexology area. This little closet here has our security fire system in it. Um, so, it, and its measurements are 12 feet, eight inches by eight feet. Then immediately out of that room, it goes straight across. And here's another massage room. And this is massage room number five. We have a changing area where they can take the clothes off. And then we have um, a massage table and a window to the outside. Stereo system. And its measurements are 12 feet, nine inches by 10 feet. Now, if we go back out that door and out into the main hallway, you can see the waiting room is to my right. And down this hallway, we have a little break room, coffee area, breakfast nook, if you want to call it that. And it's complete with a microwave and coffee pot. It has storage cabinets on the bottom. And then at the top behind these curtains is also storage and shelving. So if we go on down, um, the next room off to the right is massage room number six. And again, a dressing area um, with mirror and hooks. And then lighting um, pictures and over uh, by the dressing area you can see that there's a stereo system and this room measures eight feet four inches by ten feet eight feet by four inches by ten feet then that takes us over to massage room number seven and as you walk in you can see plenty of storage here um, two windows. The windows in the basement do open, uh, but the windows on the first floor do not open to the outside for security reasons. This room measures nine feet, seven inches by 12 feet, four inches. And that then completes the tour of the building of the massage building. I'd like to thank you for viewing this. And if you are interested, please contact us.